And I'm going to start off with these crystals here of copper sulfate. Now these are beautiful blue color, and this is because of the interaction of the water that they contain with the copper ions. And just by heating the crystals, we can actually drive out the water. So I'm using the Bunsen here to heat up the crystals, and we can drive out the water that's locked up in them, and we should see a color change. So say the crystals are blue because of the interaction of the water with the copper ions, but uh, once the water is removed, and we can see some of the water condensing in the, uh, the neck of the retort here, well, the crystals are actually changing to a white color. So you should be able to see some water dropping out. It's just about to drip out the bottom. There we are. I think we're just about to get a drop. There we are, so drops of water. So as I say, it's the water contained in these crystals interacting with the copper ions that gives rise to the blue color. Now, many things contain water. Of course, we contain water 